Oh, is that yet? Yeah, one second. Okay. Today I want to thank uh, oh, our state representative, Will David, and today's date is, uh, what is today's date? February 19th. Oh, I messed up on this one. February <laughs> the <laughs> <day. Me too. laughs> All right, February the 19th in the year 2020. All right, we're in uh, Springfield, Illinois, at the Capitol Building here. And he will go down in history for making this happen and to have introduced this here. And we expect for it to be passed. Uh, I know he will get it done. If anybody can get it done, it, it is him. And so we've got a few more people who's here today as well. But I want Representative Davis to be worried for, for the record, for the history. This will be remembered throughout the year, particularly to the African-American community. Uh, this is very meaningful, all right? So this is uh, reparation. Uh, it's way, way overdue. Illinois will be the first um, state to pass such a bill as this right here. This is the beginning of the whole country, and we're indebted to Representative David for making this effort. Uh, so Representative David, you just said a word. We appreciate that, and I want to thank you personally for making this happen, all right? Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Wilson. You. Amen. Let me uh, first of all say congratulations to Dr. Wilson. His hard work, his effort has gotten us to this day. Um, truly a historic day here in the state of Illinois. Uh, I am Will Davis. I represent the 30th district out in the south suburb. Uh, communities that have been impacted negatively by policies and procedures that have gone in place long before we stand here today that have led to the destruction of communities, not only in the south suburbs, but pick any part of the state of Illinois where communities are seeing decline in employment and opportunities. Many of us are going to jail. Um, as a result of policies that are not designed to support uh, uh, black people here in the state of Illinois. This effort led by Dr. Wilson to bring about the conversation about reparations here in the state of Illinois is one that's long overdue and one that's sorely needed here in the state of Illinois. I am truly honored to be a part of this effort, to be a part of this movement. I stand here today as a representative only because many people have died and, and, and given their lives for the opportunity for me to stand here today. My ancestors, ancestors of many of us, uh, again, they, they've toiled, they've, they've worked in the cotton fields, you know, they've sought only what, a, a, a better life for their families and for themselves. Uh, this effort today here in the state of Illinois is the pathway to giving us those opportunities back. Those things that have been taken from us, from our communities, from our families, this is the beginning of getting those resources, getting those opportunities and putting them back in our community so that my daughter, my eight-year-old daughter, Jana, would have the opportunity to benefit from this effort long after I'm gone and certainly will her children and her children's children uh, down the road. So again, having this opportunity is extremely important. Having uh, the ability to sponsor such important legislation here in the state of Illinois, this is what being a state representative is all about, representing people representing the people, not only of the 30th district, but also the entire state of Illinois that have given to this effort. And I'm honored to stand on those shoulders and to have the opportunity to do this. So again, thank you very much, Dr. Yes. All right. Thank you. Appreciate very well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what I want to take a, a few moments now to go around, and I know we have Black Lives Matter and Tam Howard uh, right here. I uh, want him to come and say something. Those who want to go on record, for the history of uh, reparations for uh, African-American descendant of slavery, all right? If you want to come and say hello, who you are, where you're from, and just say a few words. For the, for the record, this is being uh, video now, and uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep this right here because this is the only one of the kind. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah, right. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, why don't you just come, if you want to, come right here and just say a few words to those who want to. And then we will uh, uh, join. Okay. Brother.
coming today. This day is especially important to me. Mm -hmm. So um, we was um, sharecropper. We worked 13 years. 13 years. Did get paid not one penny. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. right? And ran with mom at 13. My um, father, my mother, my grandparents. We never did get paid. You know, and so it, it, it's personal to me to make this this step. Although, you know, the, the, the people who's behind me and around me, the one that really did the leg work uh, uh, doing this thing here. Um, and I, I saw an opportunity for me to put some dollars behind it. The least that I can do is put some dollars behind it. I want to thank all of you guys, family, all you guys, Joe, and all, all you, especially uh, thank you, Dr. Representative David, thank because you. this is very important to, to me as a person. You know, and I feel that I'm not doing it for me to benefit from the person, but the people who of my age and, and also the, the, the generation to come. Okay, and to, to, so we got a lot of work to do. This is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll spend the rest of my life trying to help it to work some more. Thank all you all again. It's my honor to serve you guys. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>